A beautiful Monday and start to our week across southeast Louisiana, though it's a little hot for October 7th. Temperatures in the upper 80s now, and that was our high today, 89. So about five degrees above your average high at this point in the calendar. Wind speeds right now are somewhere between those single and low double digits. We do still have a coastal flood advisory issued until 7 a.m. Tuesday, and that's because we'll see these waters one to two feet above ground at high tide. So something to keep in mind. Here's your hour by hour forecast for game time tonight. We are going to be warm as temperatures continue to fall into the overnight period. Hopefully we'll be celebrating all the more tomorrow, but those humidity levels are soon to drop off as a cold Cold front knocks on the door and arrives right around midnight, taking us into your Tuesday. So, of course, that is also responsible for keeping Hurricane Milton further south and eventually driving it east towards Florida. Look at the intensification on this satellite. You can see such a tight, well-defined eye. And if you were to look at this from above, you'd likely be able to see the ocean. That's how well-defined this has been in just the last 24 hours. Going from a tropical storm to a Category 5, those winds now around 100 180 miles an hour gusting to 220 and we've consistently seen the pressure drop and the movement pick up a bit. So this is about to move into a little bit of a less favorable environment and that's why the forecast shows weakening in intensity down to a category four by Wednesday afternoon and then landfall is a category three either late Wednesday or very early into the overnight hours on Thursday. Now, of course, that's never an ideal situation for landfall at dark, but all impacts on the table from extreme storm surge to localized flash flood potential in terms of rainfall amounts. And then, of course, the wind threat, which extends well inland. Right now, those hurricane warnings flying across Tampa, Orlando, and down towards Fort Myers. You see tropical storm warnings on either side, and that means these conditions will begin within the next 48 hours. So lots of areas under those evacuation orders. You then continue to see those watches further inland across the peninsula and the surge concern extends on both sides of Florida's coastline. So the models have essentially honed in on landfall right around Tampa and into the Tampa Bay area. The surge could be somewhere between 10 and 15 feet, which is an extraordinary amount of surge, something that the area has not seen in 100 years. Up and down the coastline, still very significant surge amounts all the way towards the Big Bend and then down towards Key West. So those rainfall amounts could be somewhere between 5 and 10 inches and the weather there isn't great already based off of a different system, which of course everyone has been seeing in the midst of preparation, even while attempting to still clear debris from Helene. So our thoughts are certainly with our Florida neighbors. Here you really couldn't ask for more gorgeous weather. We of course may want a little bit of a cool down, but temperatures will be amazing in the mornings. You're waking up to the 60s in most spots for the next few mornings and then eventually some upper 50s work their way back into the forecast for North Shore locations. Otherwise, we'll consistently see those 80s each and every afternoon. Enjoy it.